the Dutch Institute for Fundamental Energy Research, DIFA, performs leading fundamental research in the fields of fusion energy and solar fuels. The Institute's fusion research is part of the international effort to build ITER, the world's most advanced fusion experiment. DIFA aims to play a national coordinating role in fundamental energy research, bringing together scientists from a wide variety of disciplines and institutes and closely partnering with industry. The collaboration with universities is realized in the form of focus groups, which act as satellites of the institute. The energy research in the Netherlands is actually, um, you know, you could say dispersed over, over various uh, actors, um, universities, institutes. And one of the uh, aims and missions of, of DIFFER is to coordinate this energy research. What you need next is, is really to work on the storage of this renewable energy into fuels. The research in general of solar fuels is of course an inspiration from nature because trees are actually doing precisely the same. Eh? They use carbon dioxide and water and sunlight to convert it in their fuel, which is sugars, to actually grow their biomass. The tokamak machine is working just like uh, every car. It has an engine and um, you need to put fuel in and you have an exhaust to, put, to get everything out. Well, you have to, de you have to um, design a good exhaust and this is what we call the diverter. And you have to choose proper material for this because it's the only part of the whole machine that is really in contact with plasma. So you have to have a material that is um, not storing your fuel. Your fuel has to be in the machine itself, so it should not get lost in the wall. And of course, it has to withstand the high temperatures and the high plasma um, fluxes. And this is the part where I'm working on. I'm in the computational plasma physics group for high temperature plasma physics. So this is, this means fusion reactors, essentially. So my research is composed of developing models in order to ascertain the level of turbulence inside fusion reactors. And with modern technology, one can essentially sit anywhere in the world as long as there's a Wi-Fi connection, simple laptop anywhere. Can, uh, can do the most powerful computations that, that scientists today do. And uh, that, that's quite exciting. Mm -hmm.